Good Thursday morning, or Thursday afternoon, or Thursday evening, whenever you're watching this. I'm pre-recording these things, and um, so I'm getting them to come out. So sometimes you'll see me with the same shirt on, but I'm doing them in the same day. But um, we're just doing it as we go through the Passion Week this week. I want you to turn with me in your Bibles to John chapter 13 today. I love all the Gospels, and I love the Gospel of John, I guess, because it, uh, you know, if you, I always tell people if you really want to know who Jesus is, read the Gospel of John. You'll see the, you'll see, fully God, fully man in John, and so there's a lot of great things in John. I love, I love John 11 when Lazarus. That's one of my favorites. And but we're over here in John chapter 13 today. We're going to look at uh, about verse number 12. Okay, this is at the Last Supper, okay? And this is the same night that uh, Jesus was betrayed. So in verse 12, he said, it says, John says, when he had washed their feet and put on his outer garments and resumed his place, he said to them, do you understand what I've done? You call me teacher and Lord, and you're right, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. Look at that instruction there. For I have given you an example that you should also do just as I have done to you. Truly, truly, when he says that, that's very important. Let's listen up. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. These are great instructions. He's given us a lot of stuff here. But I want to focus in on one thought today. And that thought is the mission of Jesus. Jesus came on a mission. He came with a singular purpose, with a mission, and nothing was going to stop him. And he was going to complete his mission. And his mission is simply this, to save mankind from sin and death and destruction. And by doing so, he destroys all the works of the devil, all the works of Satan, all of the bondage and the pain and the hurt and the sin. He came to do that. And the way he accomplished his mission was by demonstrating love and by serving. Oh, and you say, well, the cross, well... The cross was the greatest demonstration of love. In Romans 5, it said uh, he demonstrated his love for you and I in this, that while we were in our sin, yet sin, he died for us. So that's how he, that's how he accomplished his mission, by loving and serving, serving and loving. The two go hand in hand. And so what he said was the servant is not greater than the master, and the master is not greater than the servant. Uh, nor is though the one, the student, better, uh, greater than the teacher. And so, what he said: If I serve, if I serve by washing your feet, then you ought also to serve by washing one another's feet. And what he's saying is, you need to have the same mission. We we look at all kind of different ways to get the gospel out. But it's by loving and by serving. It's by denying ourselves and by putting others. Love God, love people. Love God, love people. A very simple message, but it gets convoluted in the day and age in which we live. We're always trying to do it another way. We're trying to get a quicker way out of it. But if we will love others and, and serve others, that's what he was trying to do. On that night, it was very, very important what he said. It was a blueprint for us of how we are to minister the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah, we preach. Yeah, we teach. That is so we can gain understanding and be built up. But the way we destroy the works of the devil is by showing love. Because he sowed the seeds of hate and sin. And, and through Christ Jesus, we destroy those works. See what I'm saying today? So, a simple act of kindness, a simple word, sometimes does more 
than five hours or a hundred hours of, of teaching and preaching. Why don't you today see how you can serve somebody, how you can love somebody, how you can do something and help somebody, and just see what God will do. It, it opens the door for the love of Jesus Christ to enter into a heart. So he said, I washed your feet. You need to wash other folks' feet. You need to serve. And, and he really did it in a way that was very humbling, and, and it shows very character in the heart of God that he shows a love and a service to others. Well, I love you. I'll be back tomorrow with another uh, devotional as we go through this week of passion leading up to Resurrection Sunday. And, uh, man, I hope to see you guys on Sunday morning. I think we're going to have a great day and a great time. And uh, I hope you have a great day. I love you. I'm praying for you. And I just want to say, God bless you.